So riddle me this, there are seven, but their entire personality is board game. Did you know Catan has sold over 32 million copies? Board game ASMR. Here are three reasons why board gaming has become such a popular one. This is Takeda, one of the prettiest games I own. This is Koo, a social deception game that's sure to keep you guessing. I, I never would have expected this. It kind of came out of the blue. I never even really touched cameras before I was in college. And after college, I never expected it to be something that was necessarily a, a you know, full-time hobby, is what I call it. This is a video that I'm really wanting to film today, and it's about why drafting as a board game mechanic is so good. So this one definitely leads more towards my passions. I don't know if this video is gonna do exceptionally well by any means, but that's okay. Um, gotta do it for myself, right? As far as my, my scene itself, I, I set it up the way I do just because I like having my board games um, in the background just showing. It's nice so that way people who come across my TikTok instantly see that collection and anyone else who is a big board gamer is gonna see those and see some familiar titles to them. And that's what I'm really going for is that instant connection that they might be able to kind of gravitate towards. My equipment's a hodgepodge. Like, I'll, I'll be the first one to admit it. Uh, most of it is centered around budget, with the exception of my actual camera itself. Videography in general is just a hobby for me. Unfortunately, I can't justify, you know, putting more money into it because it doesn't make me money right now. A lot of people would look at my TikTok channel and ask, why the heck are you still doing this? Because quite frankly, it is nowhere near a large enough audience to make any realistic or significant amount of income off of it. I work a full-time job. It's something that I do on the side. But something I had to tell myself when I started doing this is I never wanted to feel like a job. I never wanted to feel like it's something that I have to do because this is a creative and a passion outlet for myself. And while it started to have some success and I have made some money off of it, it's not something that I'm doing for those reasons. It's, for me, just a way to be able to get my creativity out there, uh, to share a passion. And that's what I want it always to be about. One of the really cool things about making this content is I have a lot of friends and family who watch it. And it's honestly helped me kind of connect with some of them. It, again, like I've, I've had my grandma reach out to me and just being like, I saw your most recent video, it was so good. And it's kind of funny to have that type of stuff, but it really is a great conversation starter. And when people ask me about my hobbies, it's something that I can bring up and talk about and be passionate about. And I think people really enjoy that. It, it really has fostered a lot of connection for me, uh, both in relationships I've already had and also in being able to bridge some relationships with other individuals who are in this community, this uh, board gaming community. And that's why drafting is one of my, f and that's why drafting is one of my favorite board game mechanics. One of the things I do try to do with my TikTok videos is I specifically try to make the beginning roll in with the end or the end roll into the beginning so that way it loops well because if you're watching those social platforms it will just start to loop right over so um, i actually start with the very end and then roll into the actual start so okay Drafting mechanics are pretty common in board games. And if you ever played a game like Seven Wonders or Sushi Go Party, then you've experienced what I would call a classic draft. Now, let me tell you why I like this so much in games. Well, first off, it means that all players can be taking their turn simultaneously. So there's no need to wait on that one slow player to finish their turn before you can start taking your own turn. And the fourth reason is that it forces you to pay attention to what your neighbors are doing so you can plan your turns accordingly. Cool. And then it rolls into that first clip where I started off with, and that's why, and that's where it will end. And then at the start, it says, drafting in my absolute favorite mechanic board games. And so I think that'll work out pretty well. Something about me, I need to be feeling like I'm progressing. If I don't feel like I'm progressing, then I start to feel stagnant and I start to get a lot of anxiety. And if I, don't, if I have that anxiety, then I am just, uh, it feels bad. I, I don't like it. And so it forces me into wanting to feel something growing. And a TikTok community has been something that's allowed me to be able to do that. I really felt like uh, growing that community has been something that's driven me to push, to pursue, to do more. 
um, as well as just really enjoying the content itself. Again, it's been, board games been a hobby for me for such a long time and being able to feel a sense of growing in something that I'm passionate about, uh, that's what gets me to do it when I get home from work. That's what forces me into that type of mentality where I'm able to push myself past the eight hour work day into four more hours of doing and <laughs> creating content. I remember being very surprised that I had something which people cared to listen to. Uh, I was surprised that there were people who wanted to see and watch and hear what I made. I feel like there haven't been a lot of times in my life where I've been able to make something that I felt like other people cared about genuinely and being able to put this out there and having complete strangers enjoying and engaging with my content has been something that has been really a cool experience to build, build and create. And as small as it may be, it's something that I love. Okay, here's one for you. There are 10, but the favorite game is guitar. Keep on.